Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, JC here, and this is the video you've all been waiting for. How to connect a FreeSky XSR receiver to the Flip32 Omnibus F4 and F4 Pro flight controllers. I'll be covering both in the same video. If you are looking for a video on how to connect your XSR to a F3 Omnibus, this is not the video for you. You will actually have it much easier. So. Uh, and this goes for everybody. Look in the top right of your screen and description below for my Omnibus playlist where you F3 guys will find your videos there as well as many other videos concerning all of the Omnibus flight controllers. So let's begin. If we... Let's just talk about the pinout on the XSR real quick. We've got the black wire for ground, red for power, then the middle wire, which I've already removed, should be yellow, and that is going to be your smart port or telemetry wire. And there's a reason I have removed it, and you're not going to like it. Then we've got the green wire, which I have cut, which is the PPM wire in white for SBUS. Normally, in my videos, when I show you how to connect the XSR to flight controllers, I show you how to connect both PPM and SBUS. Uh, if you don't know the difference, PPM has 8 channels, where SBUS has 16 channels. Not only that, but SBUS is faster than PPM. But PPM does have its benefit because if you are trying to connect multiple devices and you need an extra UART port, then you can use PPM because PPM does not use a UART. Though on this flight controller, or well, both of these flight controllers, whether it's the Pro or just the F4, the PPM and SBUS pin is actually the same pin. So even if you want to use PPM to save that UART, you're really not saving it because it's the same pin. Therefore, I will not be showing you how to use PPM on this flight controller. Uh, it's absolutely useless. Okay, now we can move on. So whether you have the F4 or F4 Pro, it doesn't matter because these pins are the same on both. You want to place your white SBUS wire on this top left pin, then power in the middle and ground towards the outside. And that will give us a SBUS signal. Now let's talk about telemetry. The F4 boards, and this isn't this does not apply to the F3 boards, it's just the F4. They only have one hardware inverter, and that is being used on this pin for SBUS. But the other UARTs do not have that inverter. And if you don't already know, the SBUS and telemetry signals from FreeSky receivers are inverted. So without that hardware inverter and an inverted signal, you're kind of screwed. But here's the fix. You can actually get the uninverted telemetry signal like this. So if you look on the back side, you will see this with two legs on one side, one leg on this side. So what you want to do is solder a wire to that one leg. And that will give you the uninverted telemetry signal. Now, where does this wire go? Well, for you F4 guys, the non-pro version, if we look at the wiring diagram, here is the pin that we have the white wire connected to, and I can't say for certain because I don't own that flight controller, but uh, if we look over here, you will see uh, RX1, which is the receive for UART number one. Then we have the receive for UART number six right next to that. So this one right here is UART one receive. This one is receive for UART six. And then up here, we have the receive for UART number three. Oh, does this mean you have six UARTs? No, for some reason, they numbered them one, three, and six instead of the traditional one, two, and three. I don't know why, I don't have an answer for that one. What point I'm trying to make is, on the F4 Omnibus Pro, I know for a fact that this pin is UART number one. So if I had to guess, I would say that this UART number one over here is tied into this pin. So these two pins are tied together. But like I said, that's my guess. I don't own this flag controller. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, if they are tied in together, then UART1 is now being taken. You can't use a receive and transmit on the same UART. So you will have to use either TX6 right here, or TX3 right here. 
If I am wrong about that, somebody correct me in the comment section below to help uh, those out that have the F4 Omnibus. Now for you F4 Pro guys, uh, don't even bother using Ready to Fly Quad's website because uh, here is their diagram for the F4 Pro. It's the same exact one for the normal F4. But if you did purchase one, you should have gotten this anyway, so you don't need the website. Like I said, I have already determined that this is UART 1 for a fact on the Pro version, which will leave us with down here. Uh, like I said, telemetry needs a transmit, and we have transmit on UART number 6, which is the second pin down, or we have transmit for UART 3, which is the second pin up. So you just want to take a 6-pin harness like this and plug it into this side port, the one that's next to the USB, like that. If you're wondering where to get these, uh, just go to eBay, and I do a search for JST SH 1.0 millimeter 6-pin connector. Once you search for that, then you'll get a whole list of them. Just shop around, find the cheapest one you want. You can get them in packs of 5, 10, 25, however many you want. Also, because these two pins are the 5 volt and ground, I don't I know for a fact I won't use this 5 volt power source. So what I did was go ahead and remove those two wires because I don't want that 5 volt power wire coming in contact with anything. So just for example, let's just say I want to use UART number 3, which is the second pin from the bottom. My second pin from the bottom happens to be this blue wire. I'm just going to quickly solder these together. Nothing fancy. I mean, you guys probably want to do a good job on this and then heat shrink it once you're done, but I'm just making a video. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Now, whether you have the F4 or the F4 Pro, we have everything wired up and ready to go. So let's connect our USB cable that will power the fly controller and receiver both. If you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Just look in my XSR or Tyrannus playlist and you will find the video on how to do that. I have already bound mine, so if I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I get the saw green light, meaning that it has been properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the saw green light, you can continue. So now we just want to go into Betaflight and connect. Go to ports. And I know that I understand a lot of guys have had a problem with, well, with everything with this fly controller. But specifically, they couldn't get their serial uh, settings to save or SBUS settings, as well as telemetry. And I've played around with this and found a few different ways. But the easiest way is before you touch anything, go ahead and drop the baud rate from 115,000 to 9,600, and then don't change anything else. Just go ahead and save. Now reconnect, go to ports. You will notice that we lost UART 1, but that's fine. Go to configuration, and we want to turn on our serial because we are using SBUS. Down here, choose what type of serial, which is SBUS, and if you do want telemetry, go ahead and turn on telemetry. Then save and reboot. Reconnect. Now, this is where things are going to get crazy, so uh, just follow along. It doesn't make any sense, but... Okay, going to ports. We now have UART number one back, right? First, I want to turn off the MSP, because UART ports can only do one thing at a time. Then come over, and because we put the white SBUS pin on UART number one, at least for the F4 Pro guys, like I said, I don't own the F4 non-pro, but like I said, I would assume it's going to be your one as well. Just try it out and see if it works. If not, like I said, leave a comment in the comment box below. But we want to turn on Serial RX. Then because I placed my telemetry on UART 3, I will turn on, I know it's a free sky receiver, but this is different types of telemetry and the XSR uses smart port telemetry. Now, save and reboot. 
reconnect. Now, if we go back to ports, oh, we lost UART1 again, but that's fine. Go back to configuration, save RX serial again, and this shouldn't have moved, it should still be on SBUS. Save and reboot again. Reconnect. Go back to ports. Now it's back. And it's still saved on serial RX is turned on and smart port is turned on. Now go back to configuration, make sure it's still saved here, and it is. Everything should now be working. So to test it, let's go to receiver. If you move your joysticks around, roll, pitch, yaw, and throttle should all be moving. If you have created any switches, you can test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, we're good there. Now the Tyrannus. Press menu to go to your model. Hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry. Scroll down and discover new sensors. Now once it's done, press stop discovery. And at this point, you probably notice that there is no VFAS, aka voltage, or current. So, that's because you need to make sure in configuration that you have VBAT and current turned on. Well, current if you are using the F4 Pro. Uh, you F4 non-pro guys, unless you have added in a current sensor through a PDB, then there's no point in turning current turning current on. Now if we rediscover new sensors, we should get three more sensors. And there they are, VFAS, current, and fuel. And that does it guys. So uh, like I said, check out the playlist. I have left links for, to, you, I don't know what I'm saying. Look in the description for links, basically. And I will see you there.